Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's officially May 1st in some areas of the world, which means we've got access to the May Day event in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a new event that's going to be lasting from May 1st until May 7th. And uh, you're also going to start seeing these mushrooms popping up on Southern Hemisphere Islands. Now those mushrooms are gonna be a new crafting resource for the mushroom DIYs, which you're gonna be getting during this time period. So Southern Hemisphere Islands, definitely keep an eye out for those because some of them are super cool. Um, but regardless, the May Day event is going to allow us to pick up May Day tickets, which are going to take us to a new type of mystery island with the potential to find a rover on it. And it's going to be a maze sort of island with all sorts of different things to acquire on them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I do hope you all enjoy today's episode. We're going to be getting our first uh, May Day ticket. We're going to be checking out the May Day island, seeing what kind of items and resources we can find, and hopefully find Rover. Now to get your first Mayday ticket, you are going to need to go into the residential services and talk to Tom Nook. He's going to give you some backstory into what the Mayday event is, and it's basically celebrating hard work. Um, and he put on this whole thing to allow you to have some fun for all the hard work that we've done. Once you talk to Tom Nook, he's going to tell you that you can get your free, first free Mayday ticket from uh, the Dodo Airlines counter. So it's already there, and we're gonna go pick it up and check this island out. And like I said, Orville's saying himself that he's got a Mayday ticket from Tom Nook with Waffle Jr. written on it, which makes it yours. Now, all you're gonna have to do once again is just talk to Tom Nook and go through his whole dialogue, and then you'll be able to go to the Dodo Airlines and go on your first Mayday trip. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm really excited for this Mayday event, actually. I'm kind of sad that it's only going for a few days, but I guess... It's really going to be dependent on how good the items we get from this are, and how much it costs to get more Mayday tickets is the real question. Oh, that's interesting. For this tour, you have to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all your belongings here at the counter. That is a twist I did not expect. I literally filled my inventory with shovels and axes just in case, uh, but having to go empty-handed is pretty cool. We'll be sure to return them when you get back, which means we're probably going to be having to ha to craft resources while we're there. All right, this should be interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to this. So the tour should be different than most. The whole island's a giant maze. Nothing in aerial view wouldn't help, but that's not why you're here. This is the navigation tour. Your copy. The point is to find your way through. We've stowed your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start this mission empty wings or oh, hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. That's a pretty nifty trick. But you ground-bound gustlings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you're stuck or grounded or lost in a frog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue services. All right, perfect. So we got access to the re to the services if we need them, and I imagine. Okay, so we've got an item right here. What is our first item? Probably an axe, right? Nope, it's a shovel. Ah. And I'm guessing we can grab stuff from this bush, maybe? Oh, no, we can dig up the bushes. Oh, that's it. <laughs> For some reason, those look like berries. I know it's a holly bush, but it definitely still looked like a, uh, a berry. So we've got our first fruit there. Now, the goal definitely is going to be getting those tickets right there. Let's eat that peach. Or I could drop it like some sort of heathen. Do you know how often I do that? I really hate having the eat button at the bottom. I've dropped more butt fruit than I care to admit. Alright, so we've got another item right down there. And then... So let's go this way, maybe? And then if we go down this way... We can go up here and get some wood, which is going to give us crafting materials. There's Rover right there. So we need to get a more another butt fruit to break that rock. And then we can come down this way. So let's see here. We've got three wood. I wonder if there's a crafting thing here somewhere. So instead of jumping down here and obviously going back into the maze, we're going to jump across here. I'm going to pick up this handy dandy stick here because there is a crafting spot and this is going to allow us to jump across here. Now the spot we want to come down at because there's an item here that we need to pick up. We'll pick up that stick first. It's all right here. Now what item is this? This is an axe. Perfect. 
All right, so this is going to allow us to chop down the tree that's right there to get into the rest of the maze, which is nice. I'm just going to go ahead and collect the rest of the resources here so I don't have to come back through this way. Uh, because I imagine we're going to need all of these sticks, so I'm just going to pick up all the resources that I can. And then, can we break this rock yet? No, we haven't picked up another fruit yet. But we can chop down those trees, which is good. Now, I wonder if all of these islands are going to be the same. Uh, so I've hopped back across this way. And then we're going to go up to this tree here. And chop this bad boy down and then pick up the stump. That broke? Oh, no. That's not good. Huh. I did not anticipate that thing breaking that quickly. That is not good at all. So I've got enough butt fruit to move two things. Now, if we're going to complete the maze, we need to pick up three trees. Um, and there's also some Mayday tickets right there. So we've got enough to bust this rock. I'm hoping I made the right choice by smacking that one tree that was up there, but I guess we're going to find out. So we got one more butt fruit, but we got two DIY recipes here. We got the flimsy axe and the axe recipe. Now, the problem is, wait, does it completely reset our, like, our DIY recipe book as well? No. Okay. I guess it just gives you that just in case you don't have them already. So thankfully, we did make the perfect decision with that because we have just enough resources to craft exactly what we need. So we're going to eat one of these butt fruits. We're going to pick up this tree. Then we're going to craft a flimsy axe and then a regular axe. We can chop down the other trees and that one shouldn't break as much. I like that they troll you with that axe so that way if you chop down the wrong tree, your chances become significantly lower to be able to finish the maze. That is super cool. So we've got the flimsy axe here. Just enough resources to craft that. And then... And only then... Wait, I had an iron nugget. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Completely forgot to get the iron nugget. <laughs> so we gotta jump down this spot right here. And then across here. And then we've got the last butt fruit. I was wondering why I had an extra one. There we go. And that's the iron nugget we need to be able to complete the rest of this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I do want to pick up those Mayday tickets down there though. So now we just need to make it back to the other spot, which means going back through the maze and then around. This is kind of a bit of a long process to do, so. But it's not too bad. I am curious if the maze changes each time though, because that would be so much more fun if it does. Alright, so to be able to get to the other Mayday tickets that are down at the southern side of the map, uh, we definitely need to get to the beach, which means we need to chop down some trees and actually get down there. Now, I could pick up these stumps, but I don't want to risk breaking the shovel, so I'm not going to break the stumps because I just, I'm going to save the shovel for the end. It might not need to be a thing, but I'm being very careful with the way I do this. Uh, and now we need to go around and get down to that where that iron nugget was and break through the fence. Which means we need to go all the way around again and get through there. That means we've got to go all the way this way and then down this one right here. And then go this way, which is going to allow us to chop down this tree. And we should also be able to just kind of hop like this. I really just don't want to break the axe. Um, and then we hop across here, and this is going to give us our third butt fruit. And that means we can just dig up these three trees. So we're going to eat the three butt fruit and dig up the three trees. And wham bam, thank you ma'am, we have made it to the end of our first Mayday Island. Now I imagine, since we're going to be picking up what- oh, these are bell voucher tickets. Okay. So they're not Mayday tickets. I've never actually used one of these bell, bell voucher tickets, so that's four that we got so far. And let's talk to Rover here and see what we got going on here. You made it to the goal. Hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, sorry, I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. My first time on this island, it's, uh, pretty weird. A pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyway? Uh, Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too! I mean, I'm here because he invited me! He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island, and I should check it out. 
I didn't expect to find a maze. <laughs> what a surprise. So, if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? It sure does, buddy. Neat. I hear Nook's been putting a ton of work in that place. What was it called again? Zendikar, right? Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know? If all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Zendikar's great. You got a name, by the way? <laughs> what a great name. I'm glad we met, Waffle Jr. I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. Ah, what did we get? It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really don't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure, I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. Interesting. Good old Rover. So we got Rover's briefcase. Huh. I wonder if we do this multiple times if we get different items each time. Okay, so that's the wrong way to get to the bell voucher. I just wanted to see what was on the side, if anything. So we're going to need to dig up these bushes and then run around the other side. You know what I just realized after digging up those? That um, we don't have any more fruit to eat to bust these rocks. So that means you have to make a choice at some point on what bells to get or find a way to get to the beach. Which I don't think there is a way because you'd have to dig this up. So unless you can actually reach across that, which I don't think you can. Let's just dig it up just to see. There's no other way to actually get over here. To get, I believe there's so there's five bell vouchers over here. Interesting. But that is like everything that we can find on this island. So I guess what we need to do next is see if it spawns a different type of island the next time we come. So first things first, let's check out the rover's briefcase here. Oh, that's pretty nifty. I like the way that looks. Now we need to figure out how much these bell vouchers sell for. That's about what I expected. So 12,000 bells per voucher. That's 48,000 bells for four of them. It's not too bad. Not amazing, but it's not too bad, I guess. So I've talked to Tom Nook again. I've explored everywhere on the island. I've checked the, um, the Nook Miles store. And I cannot seem to get another Mayday ticket. So this may very well be a one-and-done event. Which um, makes me pretty sad. I was hoping to go through again and make sure to get the five other uh, bell tickets. Uh, but it looks like, as far as I can tell right now, you can only get one ticket. But if anybody's been time traveling and testing this out, um, I don't time travel on this particular account. If you've been able to get more Mayday tickets, definitely let me know how you got them in the comments below. But as far as for the May 1st, maybe you get one each day. I don't 100% know. But at the very least, on May 1st, I can only seem to get one ticket. And that was the free one we got from Tom Nook. Maybe we'll be, get a, be able to get another one tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of the Mayday event. I'll see you all in the next one.